Hey guys, it's Eden, and I'm here to do a video about health. Um, health is something that I consider very important to myself. It's always very important that I stay active and keep my body moving, um, and that doesn't require me being skinny. It just requires me being healthy. Um, some people say that you cannot carry excess weight around your abdomen and be healthy. I just don't agree. Um, health isn't something that you can see. And I feel like more and more people um, take the opportunity to tear you down because of your size, but then say, oh, no, no, I'm concerned. I just want to help you. I just want you to be healthy. And it bothers me a lot, not only in the media, but there's a certain vegan YouTuber that does it too. Um, it's a person that doesn't know you that doesn't know your lifestyle, that sees maybe a clip of a video or a picture that the paparazzi takes of a celebrity or something. And they use this little snip of something that they've seen to try to analyze your whole life and tell you, you're unhealthy, you're a piece of shit, you could be awesome if you did this, this, and this, and this, and it would help you lose weight, and then you'd be so happy, and you'd be so beautiful. But this person doesn't know you, and they don't care about you, but they try to say they do. And what is very obvious to me, and I don't know if it's obvious to you guys as well, concern cannot be wrapped in an insult. It just doesn't work. All it's gonna make the person do is hate you and not take your advice because you're an asshole. Like, <laughs> I'm all for speaking up and speaking your truth, but it can't hurt other people. It just can't. Like, if your truth offends someone else, that's different than if your unsolicited opinion about someone's business hurts them. And someone's health is their business. My health my business, not your business. Your opinion's not needed, nor is it going to be accepted here. So I don't like this whole phenomena like, oh, I'm gonna insult you, but it's in the, it's, it's all in concern. I care about you, so that's why I'm insulting you. It's total bullshit because you cannot see health. It's not a visible thing. You don't know if a fat person, you've heard this scenario a million times, has just lost 100 pounds and they're eating that piece of cake because it's their weekend cheat day. And I can say that from a place of honesty because I lost 90 pounds last year and I know that sometimes I'd be eating something crappy and I'd feel my own insecurities because everyone has those times. I'd feel like people were looking at me when I was having ice cream like, oh, that fat girl should be eating a piece of celery. But little do they know, I'm vegan. I don't eat meat at all. I don't eat cheese or anything. All I eat is celery. Not not really. I eat tons of stuff. I eat so much food. Um, but I eat a whole foods, plant-based diet 80% of the week. The other 20%, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I treat myself with the yummy and delicious vegan foods that are out there, a vegan corn dog, ice cream, whatever I want on the weekends. But people don't know that. You can't know that from looking at someone. You don't know if someone has a health issue like um, PCOS, something that causes them to gain weight, a thyroid condition. You don't know if someone is recovering from an eating disorder, something that's damaged them all their life, and your words are going to make them do nothing more than damage themselves more. You don't know if someone's suicidal, and they've heard it all their life, and they don't have the confidence like I did, where if someone says something to me, I just do this, but if someone says something to someone else, that person, that may trigger them to harm themselves physically because they feel no self-worth for themselves. This may be a person who, this may be a person like me that lost 90 pounds and it's really hard to keep weight off of me. So I work out three times a week now and I eat healthy. I take my weekends to eat whatever I want and I stay at a comfortable, for between a size 16 to a 20, I fluctuate back and forth. You don't know someone's life and you don't get to comment on someone's health because it's not yours to handle. Know where you end and know where another person begins and don't cross that line. Sorry, memory card got full. So 
I'm not saying that diseases like obesity don't kill people. Obesity does kill far too many people in America. Heart disease and diabetes do kill people, but heart, heart disease and diabetes, which are the first two things that come out of anyone's mouth when they give a fat person advice, aren't only in fat people. <laughs> there are people that are very thin that have diabetes. There are people that seem to be in good health that have heart disease. In fact, more people have heart disease that eat meat, dairy, and eggs than fat people have heart disease. Um, that's not a disease exclusive to fatties, neither is diabetes. And I am a big advocate for being healthy, for moving your body, for even if it's not being, even if it's not for being skinny, moving your body, improves your heart health and it doesn't have to be to be skinny i've told people millions of times that working out gives you a great energy boost it gives you a great confidence boost it gives you a sense of accomplishment it just makes you feel good about yourself but health isn't visible and for anyone that's ever been offended by someone who has taken it upon themselves to give you diet advice or tell you how to live your life or to how to go about achieving optimal health or wellness that is not their business and it's not your business to listen to what they have to say their opinion is not your business don't even be bothered with it you know it's best for yourself and when you're ready to be healthy you will be if you're already healthy you know that and you don't have to prove it to anyone else so keep living your life don't let what other people have to say affect you. Know the people that really care about you in life and know that if someone cares about you, they don't have to insult you to show you that. And yeah, keep being awesome. Till next time, keep an open heart, keep an open mind. Practice unconditional compassion and don't take shit from anyone. Bye.